Hey everybody, welcome back to Road to Top 10, where I take a team from the very bottom of the Pokemon Showdown ladder to the Top 10 in the VGC tier. So far, the team is 27 and 4, I think. I know we're like a 1465. If this is your first time, we are Clever Lucky, which right now is on this side, our, the closer side of the field. The team stays the same throughout the whole thing, so just look for those six. We're leading off against 1, 2, 3, TD, 1, 2, 3, 4. I wonder... If that means anything. He's got a Ferrothorn, which means we have to bring Rotom Heat. Unless we want to, like, power up Punch it to death. I don't think that's going to work very well at all. He's got, uh, what is that? Tyrantar is probably going to be the Mega there. Unless he, he's got a weird pick in Gengar or Gyarados or got the tail. But I guess we'll have to see, huh? I lead Salamence right on next to Bisharp. Kind of my bread and butter combo. He goes Gyarados, which is going to give my Bisharp a boost, so... I don't know why I did that, but definitely Bisharp's got a good matchup here now. He's got that plus one. It's threatening Gengar. And this is Gyarados here. And I am... He is the... Oh my gosh. He's the Mega Gengar. He goes for a good protect. That's great for him. I get a big crit on this Gyarados with my Rock Slide, which is awesome. His Waterfall's going to outspeed me, but only do 37%. And I think the Gengar protect is obvious, so I double into the Gyarados, to be frank. And that would have died without the crit. In comes Rotom Heat. Rock Slide for 33% and 20%. However, Gengar flinches. Rock Slide's so good sometimes. And since he protected last turn, I thought it would be safe to Assurance into Gengar. Rotom Heat flinches, which will probably keep my Bisharp alive. And he goes for a forfeit. I can't blame him. Kind of in a fat hole there. So, that first turn, making that good predict, Assurancing the Gyarados meant that I could then Assurance the Gengar the next turn. I know I'm faster than this Rotom Heat unless he's running some crazy amount of speed. So it's going to get a big, probably KO on most anything on his team. I guess Ferrothorn Tyrantar would have survived, but even if he's even if he switched, it would have done some pretty yeah, good damage maybe, yeah. So that's that battle. 1479 is what we're at right now. Here we are. I am on the far side, and I wrote a note to myself. I think I think the, the dude just left the game after turn one. I think, yeah, yeah, this is what happens. He leads double dragon. And I'm thinking, okay, what do I Draco Meteor? Eh, let's Draco the Hydreigon. He protects Garchomp. Down goes Hydreigon. Bishop, I think, just hits into Garchomp just to do damage or in case he switched. Yeah. But then he then he just he just left. And then I had to sit here for like two minutes while the timer ran out. So thanks for that purple Ampipom. That's two minutes I'm never getting back of my life. That does boost us into 1500, so genuine thank you to Ampipom for giving us that nice boost. We are in the 1500s. No ladder climb would be sufficient without facing my good friend, Stumpy. Oh man, Stumpy, if you guys don't know, we played in, uh, I taught him how to play Pokemon, competitive Pokemon, back in freshman year in the dorms. And uh, then just last year, we both went to Oregon, and we played each other in the finals, to which he beat me. So, little grudge match here. I am on this side. He's kind of using... Uh, he's using some weird stuff, I think. He always runs some pretty unique... Some pretty unique stuff, but... I was like, oh god, he knows my play style. I gotta be careful here. I lead me out Rotom Heat, because he knows my common leads and stuff. I had to lead something I don't really do very often. That Aerodactyl, Garchomp, though, kind of scary. Does end up being Mega Aerodactyl. I protect Rotom Heat here, because I don't want to take big rock slides yet. I slow down this Aerodactyl as he picks up my Meow Stick. I'm like, oh god. His Bisharp, not happy being in here against Rotom Heat. Switches in Salamence. I forgot that I paralyzed him, so I go to Thunderbolt, and that's just a completely, like, completely wasted turn. I could have just hit his Salamence or whatever. Switch to the Salamence at this turn to Garchomp as I went to go, you know, Thunder Wave it. He paralyzes from probably another Sky Drop, maybe a Rock Slide. Charm the Garchomp because I don't want him doing damage. Yeah, see, exactly. Did, like, nothing. Charm so strong. Go to hit this Aerodactyl. Uh, I'm only in threat of being hit one time, but he gets another Paralysis, so... Yay, Paralysis! Charm the Garchomp again, and he tries to negate the first charm with the Swords Dance. Told you, he always runs weird stuff. Um, but I, since that other charm is there, I'm not afraid. He's got this Bisharp. I protect here for... I don't know why. I know he's faster than me, but... Oh! A Rock Slide Assurance? But I would have survived that. I probably should not have... I should not have... 
I don't know. I maybe I don't know. That was just not good. Anyway, Senna Kangaskhan. He's got this guard chomp at, you know, flat, whatever. Has been swords dancing for forever. And a Salamis now that I now my Kangaskhan's at minus one, and now he's at plus two because of another swords dance. Not great. I power up punch into the Salamence, which used to be Fish Sharp because I want to get those boosts up. And I go to burn the Garchomp. Of course, it's Lumberry. Swords Dance Lumberry. Pretty good combo. I protect here because I know. I know him. And I know he thinks I'm going to protect Kangaskhan. He tries to drop the Rotom Heat. No big deal. Go away, Salamence. I don't want to deal with you. In comes the Bishop again. He goes for another Swords Dance. I don't know if I agree with that move. I'll power punch the Bisharp, and I'll Willow with this Garchomp. Although I don't think plus two Garchomp is gonna KO anything out here anyway, so I think he's trying to mitigate that Willow with damage. But yeah, I mean that's pretty big damage. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think it's just too late for him to come back at that point. So that's good. That boost us up to fifteen seventeen. So thanks, thank you, Stampy. And here we go, uh, Aaron Zeng copycat. Lead with my Meow Stick, and I go with Rotom Heat. Same lead as last time, actually. I guess I took a fancy to it. Hilo's got the Tell Hariyama. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard. Hariyama's definitely gonna knock off this Meow Stick, so I want to weaken a little bit. I'm not gonna be hype about losing my Citrus Berry, but nothing I can do about it. I bring the Gotha Tell because I know this battle might. You know, in Trick Room, it's going to take a couple turns, so I wanted to get that residual damage, and I didn't want to burn Guts Hariyama. He goes to Rotom Heat, expecting a fire move over there. Um, and don't forget, we're locked in here, so I'm stuck, and that's why he starts tickling. will is not going to do anything. I guess I thought with another charm and a will o -Wisp, it would be fine to do, again, you know, to do that to the Hariyama. Instead, Rotom Heat comes out, takes that, no problem. Psyshock can do pretty good damage against my Rotom Heat. i got to paralyze his Rotom Heat because I want to do that damage, and I <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, if I get rid of this Gothitelle, I can get out of here intact. Uh, especially with only, you know, two turns of Trick Room left. I can protect Rotom Heat here. I don't want to take that damage again. Swagger, try to get this Gothitelle. Yeah, to hit itself. Nice. That's fine. I just don't want it hitting me. The Overheat will drop my Meow Stick. But that's kind of that's kind of good for me because there's still there's still Trick Room left. I sent up my Moongus knowing that's going to be like the slowest thing out here. Thre that's a threatened Spore in that, that, that slot. So I go and get the spore up, because, you know, Trick Room's still up, so it's going to help me. He rests got the tell, which, like, nice. That, that That's a great move. Wakes up with the Lumberry. Uh, I went to hit it again. But now that Lumberry's been, you know, wasted, there's now a, a spore threat on that slot, too. Got the tell. Goes for a side shock on my Amoongus. Obviously, still not a lot of defense in that Amoongus. But I will put it to sleep, because, I, you know, he burned that berry for me. Two things to sleep on the field, Amoongus. A little less than half health. Rotom doing some pretty solid 20% damage. Could be better. Hariyama wakes up. Goes to knock off my Rotom Heat. It's really is not the greatest to lose those leftovers, but it is what it is. I want to get rid of this guy to tell. I can't switch out until I do, and I need to get my Rotom out of here. So I stop taking so much damage. He goes for a Rock Slide. This is going to be really scary, and yeah, it's going to KO for sure because I'm at minus one defense. Now I got a Moongus, and I got Kangaskhan, the duo. He's still got something in the back. Probably this is my while. Yep. So I gotta I gotta do some big damage here. It is looking a little shady. I really need to get those power up punches in. And I rage powder here to, to soak up damage, but uh that's just a good protect on his part. That I think that's gonna put me like a turn or two behind. I playing desperate here, Amoongus. I needed to survive in the future. Hoping he makes a misplay and doubles into Amoongus. I don't think he does. Oh, he overheats it, but he probably doesn't. Yeah, he probably hits the Kangaskhan. Just barely survived. Now I know it's going to be sketch. I got to get rid of this Rotom Heat so it doesn't take out my Amoongus, but I thought he was going to protect again like he did the turn before. Does not pay off for me. Amoongus is going to go down to that overheat, and Mawa is definitely going to finish me off. I think the major undoing is um, I usually, this is before I figure out a pretty standard way to beat it that, that, that combination but uh, I usually now start with Amoongus instead of Meow Stick since Meow Stick really doesn't add that much to this matchup but yeah so that knocks us um, that, that that's actually a 24 point loss it's a 1493 now so that's that's how that is we end what is that five losses and I think we're at like 32 wins am I right I don't know maybe 30 wins 
So that's that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let's continue the climb tomorrow. Um, say hi to me in the comment section. Mm, you can tell me... Yeah, your favorite color. Yeah, that's a good question of the day. What's your favorite color? Uh, mine is purple. And I'll tell you why. Because I used to watch Legend of the Hidden Temple and the Purple Parrots. That was my jam. If you guys watch Legend of the Hidden Temple, you guys are... That's cool. You guys are cool. That's all I'm saying. That show's so old. But yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And I uh, hope to uh, see you guys next time.